everyone, Steph here from thegoodride.com. We're here checking out the women's harpoon in a 144. Uh, this is a really fun alternative free ride board. It has that wider waist width. It is meant to size down if you want, or you can ride it as is and have a little bit more of that aggressive board. So you can absolutely size down, but it only is available at the moment in two sizes, the 144 and the 148. So technically it's not really a size down for me. It's like I'm riding my size of board. A size down for me would be like a 138 probably, especially with my weight, uh, but it felt good. Like it felt like um, it wasn't too much board for me. So it is a forgiving enough ride that you could ride a bigger size and still be okay. Or if you want an extra surfy, extra kind of like slashy feeling type board, then you could size down. So it is directional as you can see it's also slightly tapered the 144 size has a 246 millimeter waist width so it's quite wide good for that carving good for that extra float and the added volume in powder it comes with the fusion rocker camber like overall if you look at the profile of the board it's kind of more on the rocker end than it is on the positive camber but you still get the two positive camber zones right under your feet there's just a bigger kind of bow to the board like the protosynthesis has way less bow to the board. This is more like raised tip and tail, uh, contact free, loose ride. It comes with a high quality centered base. This board felt very quick, very fast, I'm super smooth. In all the conditions I rode it in, and I got it in Colorado powder. I also got it in spring slush conditions here in Mammoth and icy conditions as well. Uh, and it held up in all those conditions. The harpoon was a lot of fun. My first day on this board was in Colorado and amazingly, I got a powder day in April. Um, it was like, you know, it was like a maybe half a foot powder day, but it was like that light stuff. And it was super fun to ride this board. I took it everywhere from the steeps, open bowls, to some super tight, steep trees in Breckenridge. And um, I was impressed at how maneuverable this board was and how they, it kind of looks like a little bit more of a rocker board. So I didn't expect a ton of performance from it, but I felt in steep moguls and steep trees, I was able to really turn it and feel confident that I could rely on it to hold an edge and to make the turn when I wanted to make it. So that was really cool. I feel like I got nice performance from it and I didn't really expect that, especially with the wider waist width. Sometimes those boards are slower to turn for my boot size, uh, but this one felt pretty good. You know, like I said, it was quick to turn. Uh, you get that added edge hold um, under the feet with the positive camber. So it didn't feel chattery. It didn't feel like it was sliding out on me. It felt pretty solid in some steep terrain and it's nice and stable. So the flex, you know, it has a pretty nice flex. It's not extremely stiff, but it's also not extremely flexible. For me, I found it, like I expected it to be a little softer, I think, just because you look at the profile and you're like, okay, well, it's gonna be like that playful um, powder board, but it was a little bit stiffer than I expected. You know, which is cool because it adds to the stability of it and it makes for a nice, damp, solid ride in a lot of different terrain conditions. So as far as the buttering and pop and playfulness goes, it's definitely playful. It's not catchy at all. Like you don't have to worry about the positive camber zones because it doesn't catch on its own. Um, it's more loose on the snow, more forgiving. Um, it's pretty butterable but it's not like a super flexy butterable board if that makes sense you gotta you gotta put a little bit of effort into it but you can still absolutely butter it and play around on it and i feel like it wants to be playful like the personality of the harpoon feels a little playful to me for sure more buttery on the nose than on the tail there's just a lot less tail than there is nose and it's also a wider nose um so definitely more like nose butters as opposed to tail butters. It's a really fun board in soft snow, for sure. And it holds its stability once the snow gets kind of like tracked out and chundery and like, and a little bit uneven, it still stays pretty stable. And also like, you know, the edge hold on ice, it doesn't have any side cut disruption, but it holds a nice edge 
even in icy conditions. It's not gonna be ideal for like ice coast or really hard ice, especially with the hybrid rocker profile but you know it will do well in most hard pack conditions so the cool part of the harpoon is it's not only for powder days it is super fun on groomers i had a lot of fun carving on this board not an extremely hard charging carver but it does carve and it has that wide waist width so you can really tip it over and it has the stability so you can go fast and make a carve and it has those positive camber zones so you do get energy back from the board. I really enjoyed carving this board for sure. Turn initiation on harder snow, you know, it does have that wide waist width. It's not extremely fast, but it is fast to turn. I didn't feel like it was slow to turn at all. So somewhere in that medium to fast range as far as uh, turn initiation goes. The Harpoon is really good at skidded turns. It loves skidded turns. It can make small radius turns. It can make medium radius turns. Um, I feel like it kind of likes that small to medium. It's not really a large radius turner. Uh, you can ride switch on it, but it's not ideal. It is tapered, it's pretty directional, um, but it is possible. It's not a swallowtail either. Uh, so, you know, if you're in a pinch, you could definitely do it, but it's not made to ride switch. This is more for that directional rider who rides one direction most of the time. You know, and in the park, it's not really a park board, obviously, but it's forgiving and playful enough to mess around all over the mountain. You want to take a side hit, you want to hit a little drop, it's for sure going to be a lot of fun there. Uh, the pop is pretty good. It's not as much pop as like say you get from the protosynthesis but it is a, a good amount of pop you still have those positive camber zones that are bending under your feet when you pressure it so you can get energy back from this board uh it's not really a jibber i don't know if i would really jib on this board i'm not i'm not partial to directional boards while jibbing um but i think it'd be a lot of fun in the half pipe if you want some spring slush pipe you know some slushy pipe turns um or even like a normal pipe, you know, the edge hold is pretty good. It's not your ideal pipe board, but it could definitely dabble in the pipe and play around. So overall, really fun, inspiring board. Uh, floats in powder great, likes to carve. It's that alternative free ride, short, fat board that likes to make fun turns, doesn't take life too seriously, but can also be ridden technically if you want to. Feel like an intermediate rider could ride this board and be happy with it. You know, up to an expert advanced rider who's looking for that playful, volume shifted, alternative free ride board. So my friend Med took this out for a day in Mammoth, a little spring day, and here is Med's take on it. I just did not feel I have snowboard on me. <laughs> Super flex. It's a rocker base. Um, the back, I love actually the shape of this design here. Get to see the snowboarding, bro shredding at the back. <laughs> uh, back to the feeling of this. On a steep run, I had pretty good control and good turns, like I could control it. On the ice, I felt like a little sketchy that I felt I'm losing the control. Wherever I want to go, the board takes me. Like wherever I choose, even slushy or hard snow, it charges really, really good. Super fast board, super light board. I like to ride it everywhere. It's playful. I usually have a hard time of twisting the board on a flat. I feel like it's heavy or I want to pop it. it I, I feel it's heavy board. Yeah. But this one, I was like, oh, with a little bit of a slight push, I can just like pivot it, hop on it, just move it around. I literally did not feel I'm having a snowboard on me. I just felt like I'm going where I want to go. That's cool. And it's pretty floating. So it's like an extension of you almost. You're yes. like, yeah. Yeah. You felt like it was very responsive? Super responsive. Only the only part that I didn't feel that response was on a super runs, little icy. Mm. I felt like my turns, I'm losing that edge. The edge, yeah. But uh, other than that, fast edge to edge, small turns, super quick. I'm having the control of it and it goes fast. Yeah, not losing the control. It's <laughs> super stable, right? Yes. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well, thanks, Med, Thank for helping you. us out. Thank you so much for letting me try this. And that's a look at the Ladies Harpoon from Never Summer.